speeds up patient treatment. The effect of prayer on the healing process has recently become one of the most debated subjects in the scientific world. Reports on the subject are published in newspapers and on the internet. A great deal of research regarding the healing influence of prayer has been carried out, only recently since the year 2000. The U.S. federal government set aside $2.3 million for research into the positive effect of prayer on human health. These studies reveal that prayer does have a positive healing effect on patients. The October 10, 2004 edition of the New York Times discussed studies investigating the correlation between prayer and healing. The result of the scientists' research was most striking. Prayer is exceedingly effective in patient healing. The November 10, 2003 edition of the famous current affairs magazine Newsweek published in the United States, adopted the healing effect of religious moral values as its cover story with the headline, God in Health, Is Religion Good Medicine? Why Science is Starting to Believe. In the report, the magazine described how people who believed in Allah were morally and psychologically stronger, and that because of this, people were able to fight off sicknesses more rapidly it also reported that science had agreed that believers recovered from sickness more easily and more quickly. The results of research carried out in the United States and Great Britain revealed that praying for the patients reduced patients' symptoms and accelerated the healing process. Another study this time of 750 patients undergoing heart surgery performed by Duke University scientifically proved the healing power of prayer. It was determined that the mortality levels among people who pray were 30% lower a few years after surgery. Clergymen read prayers to 466 patients undergoing treatment for heart disease at St. Luke's Hospital and it was observed that patients to whom prayers were read recovered 11% faster and that there was a reduction in their symptoms. The research on this subject is by no means limited to these examples. In another study of 393 heart patients at San Francisco Hospital, prayers were regularly read for 150 patients and it emerged that these patients, prayed for by people unknown to them, responded faster to drug therapy. All of these examples are proofs of the relationship between prayer and recovery from various diseases. Christian clergy also make statements that prayer cures patients and take a close interest in research on the subject. One example of this is George Montague, a professor of theology at an American university. Montague was a guest on a program investigating the positive benefits to health by living a life of religious moral values. Describing one case he had witnessed, Montague made the following striking statements. And uh, uh, I've been amazed at some of the uh, uh, some of the effects of that uh, on on people. We uh, 
uh, I, perhaps the most uh, dramatic was uh, uh, a man who had Parkinson's disease, was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease and was shaking and been shaking like that for about 12 years. And uh, um, he uh, had to resign from his job and he couldn't write his own checks. His had, wife had to write his checks anymore. But during our healing service, uh, the hands just for the first time stopped. Uh, and now does that mean he's healed the Parkinson's? That's for the doctor to decide. But the symptom of shaking just stopped right during the prayer service while well, we're praying with him. And that was five or six years ago now, and it, had, it, it hasn't come back since. In a particular hospital, there was an experiment taken of uh, people, all of whom had exactly the same assist, uh, 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 symptoms in this particular ward or whatever it was. And they decided that they were going to pray with people in this particular wing, and they wouldn't pray with the other. And the people that they prayed with got healed a lot quicker, recovered much more quickly than the others. Prayer, which means calling, beseeching, desiring, asking for help, is, as revealed in the Qur'an, turning and submitting to Allah with a pure heart, and asking His help, who is the All-Merciful and Most Merciful, and has an infinite power. Times of sickness are when people feel their own helplessness very distinctly, and draw closer to Allah. In addition, disease is an excellent test from Allah, a warning that one should not cling too closely to this flawed and temporary world, and a source of recompense in the hereafter for being patient and submissive. However, there is another important matter that must not be forgotten. There is no need for a person to suffer from any disease, difficulty, or trouble in order to pray. We must be aware that we should constantly give thanks to our Lord even when we are healthy and when everything is going well. We must realize that everything must be asked for from Allah because we have no power to do anything ourselves. Some examples of the prayers revealed by Allah in the Quran are I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. And Job, when he called out to his Lord, Great harm has afflicted me, and you are the most merciful of the merciful. We responded to him, and removed from him the harm which was afflicting him, and restored his family to him. And the same again with them, as a mercy direct from us and a reminder to all worshippers. And Zechariah, when he called out to his Lord, my Lord, do not leave me on my own. Though you are the best of inheritors, we responded to him and gave him John, restoring for him his wife's fertility. They outdid one another in good actions, calling out to us in yearning and in awe, and humbling themselves to us. There is yet another very important subject with regard to prayer. In addition to oral prayer, prayer in the form of action is also of the greatest importance. Active prayer means the act of a person doing everything within his power to achieve a specific end. For example, in addition to performing oral prayer, someone who is ill must visit a doctor, take medications that will be beneficial to him, receive hospital treatment if appropriate, and close care. Allah has made everything that happens in this world dependent upon specific causes. Everything on earth and in the universe operates according to laws and rules imposed by Allah. It is therefore essential for one to take the necessary precautions in the light of these laws and these causes which are created by Allah. It is also important to know that it is Allah that causes these to have the effects that they do, and therefore to hope for their effects from Allah, with submission, trust, and patience.
The effect of prayer revealed in many verses of the Qur'an has today been scientifically observed and demonstrated, thus revealing yet another miraculous feature of the Qur'an. Allah states in one verse, I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. If my servants ask you about me, I am near. I answer the call of the caller when he calls on me. They should therefore respond to me and believe in me so that hopefully they will be rightly guided.